Performing a daily inspection of your CAT F-Series wheeled excavator before the start of each shift will help ensure you receive the uptime, productivity, and performance you expect. To make this inspection process as safe and as simple as possible, every CAT F-Series wheeled excavator comes standard with ground level service access to all daily service points. This video is intended to provide an overview of what a daily inspection should include, but is not intended to replace the information in the operations and maintenance manual. Always consult your operation and maintenance manual for more specific details. Before beginning the walk around, you must remove the battery disconnect and ignition key to ensure no one else can start the machine. Park the machine with the stick vertical and implement on the ground for an accurate hydraulic reading. It's best to start at the front left corner of the machine so that when your walk around is complete, you are ready to enter the cab. As you approach the front left corner, visually inspect the entire machine, verifying that no one is in the cab. Look at the front of the cab to check the condition of the lights and windows. If your machine is equipped with a dozer blade or front outriggers, visually check their overall condition. Look underneath the cab and inspect the swing bearing for leaks and debris buildup. Look underneath the undercarriage for leaks and any structural damage. Inspect the tires, rim, and spacer ring if equipped. Behind the cab, you'll find the left access door. Visually inspect the compartment for any loose hoses or leaks. Check the auto lube canister to verify it has a sufficient amount of grease. Check the washer fluid reservoir to verify its fill level. Check the hydraulic oil level by utilizing the sight glass located next to the access steps. In this compartment, you will find convenient access to the batteries, ECMs, and electric refueling pump if equipped. Visually inspect the compartment for leaks and remove any debris that is accumulated. Check all battery connections. Verify that all cables are firmly connected to their respective terminals. If using the refueling pump to fuel your machine, slide the refueling tray out and clean the compartment, removing any debris that may cause contamination. Continuing your inspection, walk around to the rear of the machine. Look underneath the undercarriage for leaks and any structural damage. Inspect the tires, rims, and spacer rings, if equipped. Next, look up at the rear of the machine, inspect the rear cab window, lights, and hydraulic hoses for any abrasions or leaks. Clean the rear view camera to ensure rear visibility. Once finished inspecting the rear of the machine, move to the engine access door. Lift the gale wing door to gain access to the hydraulic pumps, engine fuel filter, fuel water separator, engine oil filter, dipstick and fill, accessory belt, and coolant sight glass. Beginning at the left side of the compartment, inspect the pump and filter area for loose hoses or leaks. Visually inspect the accessory belt for wear. As always, remove any debris that is accumulated. Check the engine oil fill level by pulling the engine oil dipstick. Check the coolant level sight glass to verify its fill level. Before releasing the cooling compartment access door latch, clean the right side camera. Releasing the latch will open the door, providing industry leading access to the cooling package. This design significantly reduces downtime, cost for cleaning, and the time it takes to inspect. The AC condenser design provides tool-free swing-out access. Visually inspect the cores. If any cores require cleaning, blow the cores out from the inside of the compartment with compressed air. Inspect the front right side of the machine looking for leaks or damage to the undercarriage. Inspect the tires, rims, and spacer rings if equipped. Starting at the boom foot, check all hoses and lines to make sure they are in good working condition. Inspect the boom, stick, and bucket, making sure there are no cracked welds. Lastly, inspect any work tools that are mounted or will be mounted to the front linkage of the machine throughout your workday. Check jumper hoses for wear and loose connections. Check ground engaging tools, ensuring they are connected firmly to the work tool. After you've completed the ground level portion of the walk around, walk back to the left side of the machine and climb into the cab, making sure to keep three points of contact at all times. Clean any dirty cab windows, adjust the seat and control pods for comfort, and adjust mirrors for visibility. Inspect the seat belt for frayed material and make sure the latch works properly. Before starting the machine, report or repair any unsafe findings. Completing a daily inspection before the start of each shift not only ensures the operator's own safety, but the safety of all others on the job site. Always consult your operation and maintenance manual for more specific details.